And so I want to have a grind off. Yeah, what's a grind off? A grind off is where you pit several grinders against one another and see what they're made of. So first up, I have my tried and true DeWalt DW402, four and a half inch angle grinder. This is a seven and a half amp unit. I actually believe it's seven and a half amps. It's a good grinder. I can still grind it to a, to a stop. I've got a 36 grit four inch flap disc mounted in it. Not for long, apparently, because that's not tight. So, in the second corner, I've got a Harbor Freight 4-inch angle grinder, 11,000 RPM, 4.5 amps. You look at it sideways, it'll grind to a stop. This is, um, yeah, I want to say it's 10,000 RPM. doesn't really say. So next up, I have a Harbor Freight four and a half inch angle grinder, 1999. Um, and this is what I actually set out to buy. And the reason I have it is because I bought some four and a half inch flap discs to try them out and see how they work. And then I realized I didn't have any four and a half inch grinders. I didn't realize I mostly had four inch. Um, angle grinders. So right off the bat, the handle's a little bit nicer. Let's see, 60 and 40. I'll bet you I have some 36s over here. 36 and 36. Let's do a test, and these are all the same kind of grit. The other ones were a little bit nicer. You know, this is a dead knockoff of the DeWalt. But it's a cheap knockoff of the DeWalt. So I want to check something because this is awfully loud. I want to make sure I don't have a bad grinder here. Nope, it's just a loud grinder. So we'll see what it does. That's not a good sign though. Maybe it'll wear in but more than likely it'll wear out. 90 day warranty. See if you can make it last longer than 90 days. And then for, uh, oh, sorry, it's talk specs. 11,000 RPM, five amps, four and a half inch, um, item 60372 versus item 91222. And then we have their brand new HE61S Hercules that's supposed to be a knockoff of DeWalt. This was $34 with a coupon. For a second there, I thought it does come with a Hercules 24 grit grinding wheel. Let me check the other box. You know, for the longest time, wow. Okay, so one of the differences is that Harbor Freight quit including a grinding wheel with every single grinder. That's kind of surprising because it used to be every single grinder came with a grinding wheel that I never used. Comes with a set of brushes, something else I'll never use. Handle is a, is nicer. It feels heavier. It, it 
feels more like the DeWalt. Um, so one of the things it has is a guard that uh, can be adjusted. It's a quick lock. That's nice. Um, this one's got a screw. Much, much smoother. So let's go ahead and lock a 36 inch or 36 grit disc in. There we go. Because this is the gold standard, literally. So if I apply a fair amount of pressure, I can stop this. I didn't tear the disc up too much. Next up, it's its bigger brother. All right, that's a nine, nine, those are about 12 bucks. These are about 12 bucks. And my philosophy has always been just to buy these and move on. Well, one of the things I don't like is the switch. So, it is a better grinder. You know, if you're going to buy a $12 grinder, buy the four and a half inch one. So the real question is, is it worth twice as much to buy this one? $39.99, $34.99 if you can find a coupon. They don't do any discounts with 20% off. <clears throat> Build quality is a little bit better. Let's see. Oh, same crappy ass switch. Definitely more power. I can stop it, but it takes a lot of help. Switch is a lot better. This is a lot better grinder. There's a lot more power here. I'm impressed. <clears throat> now, in all fairness, this grinder is 20 years old. I doubt any of those will last that long. 
Well, let's see how it does. Well, you know what? Let's stop. Let's. You know, it would not be honest of me to do a comparison with that. Hmm. All right. So, I think a 40 grit cubic zirconia is close enough. So, so the issue is I have a four inch wheel on here. And a four inch wheel just isn't gonna put the torque demands on this that a four and a half inch wheel will. And it's designed for a four and a half inch. Well, I did uh, catch the edge of my glove. I'm actually kind of lucky I wasn't going very fast, but uh, that would have taken skin off. And it wasn't, it wasn't under power, so you, know, you do need to be careful. I probably should have the guard on here, but I have no idea where the guard is. Um, I'm really doing some damage to this cubic zirconia pad, uh, 40 grit. I don't think it's going to last that long. So where am I at with it? You know, this is a $100 grinder. I can bring it to a stop. I think the Hercules is actually a more powerful grinder. So I'll buy another one. I had a really hard time making that grinder stop, which means I can really lean into the work and get some stuff done. Um, I, I think it's a better grinder. So my vote is with the Hercules. And I don't get paid by Harbor Freight. I just buy their stuff and tear it up and use it to get my projects done. So um, there you have it. So between their four and their four and a half inch grinder, this is their $11.99 option, which is on sale perpetually. I recommend the four and a half. It is a better grinder. Okay. Between The Hercules and the 11, yeah, this is de definitely worth the 35 bucks. Great grinder, very impressed with it. DeWalt versus Hercules, no. Don't waste your money on the DeWalt, buy the Hercules. This and this feel about the same to me in terms of the power. This is rated for five amps, this is rated for seven and a half. Now in all fairness, this is 20 years old and this is 20 minutes old. So I don't think this will make it to 20 years. These things normally die and get thrown away. That's why they're $12. And, and, and in all fairness, I own probably a seven, eight, nine grinders. And um, what I do is I put a, I'll have one of each grit on there. And I'll have both I'll have a wire wheel and a wire knot wheel on one. And I just I keep them. I don't like to take the time to switch tools with my grinders, so I just load my grinders up with what I use them for, and then I just hang all my grinders where I can get to them, and I use them for my projects. It's faster. It's more convenient for me. And hey, if you can afford the toys, bring them out to play. So there you have it. I will be buying several more of these because I really like this. This is a kick butt grinder. And um, so there you have it. That's my grind off. I go with the Hercules. And if I couldn't afford the Hercules, I'd have no problem buying this, these for $12. Or no, I think these were $19. So, you know, but whatever. I would have no problem buying these. Yeah, I think they were $19, $19.99. Um, I, you're going to go through these. So go ahead and buy this. So there you have it. 
And um, I think that's a one year warranty on these. Because they spout some nonsense about um, one year guarantee, one year, uh, yeah, it says nothing about the warranty on here. That's funny. Good old Harbor Freight. It's almost like snake oil, but you know what you're getting with snake oil. Limited 90 day warranty. Ha ha ha. Nope. Same old Harbor Freight. That's why it doesn't say anything about the warranty on the box because it's just a 90 day warranty. So, um, I think their tool replacement is generally not worth it on little stuff like this. You know, you get 90 days out of it, great, beat the hell out of it. So I'd still buy the Hercules, I think it's a better grinder. Um, you know, $34.99 versus $19.99, I'm going to spend the extra money. Thanks for watching my video, I hope you have an awesome day and I hope that my video has been useful for you. Again, we were comparing the 91222 grinder. I'll double check my numbers. 91222 grinder versus the 60372 grinder versus the DeWalt 402 grinder versus the Hercules HE61S. It's a kick butt grinder. Thanks for watching.